we're back in Mandela. Unfortunately, some bad news. Um, the AML car did not come back from Russia, so it's still stuck. Where is it, Mike? Belgium. It's in Belgium, in Antwerp still. Um, so, a bit annoying, because I was hoping to have it here this weekend, but there's a very small glimmer of hope that it'll be here before the new year. So if it comes back, we'll definitely take a track side. But for now, we just have to wait and see. Uh, but we're back here again this weekend at Mondello's Drift Bash. Uh, I brought the Treachery 5 and Becky's S15. So we're, we're gonna have some fun. A lot of my good friends are here too. So we should definitely have a good laugh this weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're out in the back track. Becky is following me, which I can see in the mirror. So I'm just doing some lead runs. So this is her first time really on the back track getting some good tandem practice. So I'm not doing anything crazy, just nice lead runs so she can get the feel of following. But I'll walk you through what I'm doing. So just watching her in the mirror, she's coming. So nice and basic, touch handbrake entry. And I can see her in my mirror. All second gear in the 335. I'm not used to looking in my mirrors, but I, I want to see how she's getting on.
<laughs> There's literally nothing between the cows. What a laugh. It's so fun driving a simple car. Like, yeah. I don't know how many times I had contact with other small little contact when you're chasing, it's just the best feeling. Just give someone that little touch. Yeah, you can start it if you want, but no typical place for an SR metaphor to go. Yeah, she sounds like a tractor. It's just cracked, so unfortunately the fun has to end early because you're flying back in the morning. But I think we'll get it fixed again. Okay guys, so we're gonna stop from the action from Mandela Park for just a minute because you might remember from last week I said I had some big news coming and now I can finally share with you guys. The big news is we have been working on a feature length documentary, Chasing My Career. Josh Allen and Busy Mono Films have been following me around, uh, chasing my journey, getting some incredible interviews with some top guys in the sport and uh, it's something that we're all really proud of, we put a lot of work into it. This documentary follows my journey all the way from starting at the very start in the field to you know, chasing my dreams, going to Formula Drift and trying to win that third title three in a row. It was uh, an amazing journey and then we go into and speak about 2020, how it got really challenging and you know, the split from Worth House, which was you know, a difficult time of uh, my career to you know, finding my drive and chasing the, the championship in the FIA IDC. So there's a lot in there. So if you want to see this, it's going to be released tomorrow at 8 p.m. It's going to be available to rent or buy on www.clippingpoint.film. And uh, yeah, it's really, really exciting. So I'm delighted to share this with you guys. I hope it's something that you will all enjoy over this Christmas. And uh, I know Josh and his crew have put so much work into this. They've been working on this for over two years and there's a lot of effort gone in by everyone so you can pre-order from now and uh, it's going to be available to watch from tomorrow night at 8 p.m so exciting times i hope you guys enjoy it now let's get back to the action in mandela okay so we're back it's sunday we had a great night last night with everyone and uh finished up yesterday's runs on track uh, with a few trains and it was just absolutely brilliant fun um, Becky did a lot of tandem as well yesterday and I think her level, she really pushed herself and it was great to see her progress over the day. Uh, huge fog down again this morning so it's probably going to be a while before we get on the main track uh, but they're opening up the paddock track on the inside so we'll go out there for a spin with Alex and James. Uh, we'll get Michael out in the car as well later and just have fun. So hopefully the car stays uh, reliable so we can turn a good few laps today. But uh, in general, I'm having an absolutely brilliant time. I love these drift bashes. Uh, it's just great fun, really relaxed. And uh, we have a load of, you know, top Irish drivers here this weekend. Dwayne's here in the missile. Jack is here, Connor's here. A great fun with Connor yesterday in his S14 at the end. Uh, we were doing like five car trains, myself and Connor out the front and uh, Alex and a couple of others out the back. And we're just really, really pushing each other, so. Great fun. Let's hope uh, the car stays running good today. What are we doing here? <laughs> and Alex is just rolling his arches. That's nice though to be fair. Yes. What happened to your chassis like? Jack, um... <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What Jack, what? Drove into me. Was it you or Jack? 
Jack. Who was at fault? Who was at fault? Yeah. Yeah. What happened this like? Jack is boy. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Oh my god. The back of it's wrecked. Oh my god. That's a fair bit of an old, uh, bit of a dent on the door. Oh my god. It's all good, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, some crack, wasn't it? Like, there was some sandwiches there coming up, going up over <laughs> It's probably doing a thousand degrees. <laughs> There was, one, there was one time we were going around there, Connor, you were in the middle, at the bottom corner. Yeah. And I was like, sure, Connor has no control of his car. It was against your car. There's orange and black on every single car. Oh my god. That is some fun. Driving with some of the best drivers I know in the world. At our home track. In simple cars. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>
god. This is no chill. No! In that the most was, basic car. I've never pointed the camera down there. <laughs> I was pointing down at the door because you could just see nothing but yeah, the that car. That was probably the most fun I've ever had drifting, ever. Uh, with Jack and Connor today, it was just getting absolutely crazy on track. Like, the cars have so many battle scars, but the tandem driving was ridiculous. I can't believe we still have full everything on the car even though we have a lot of marks and transitions and everything but it's all still together I'm absolutely exhausted she's definitely looking pretty not amazing but this is all for practice and uh, trying to you know push harder and harder I've really enjoyed the weekend and uh, I'm really excited to watch some of the footage back because yeah that was insane but good times Right, I'm going to load the cars up and uh, get some rest. It's been a busy weekend, but a brilliant one. So we'll all see you soon. Hope you have a great Christmas, brilliant new year, and uh, looking forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Bring on 2022. Your first ever three-peat champion, 2017, 2018, and now 2019. Formula Drip Champ, it is Jace the Machine D! We have solidified a champion in James Dean. The three-peat has happened for the first time ever in FD history. After winning a championship, you should be on top of the world, you know? But uh, I think that hurt. I mean, you can, open a, you can open a can of worms there if you want. One of the top drivers there to suddenly watching it on the live stream. You don't just disappear as put from a team after winning three championships together. There's nothing else in this art that gives me that same feeling, so I'm just trying to get that feeling back, really. Even when things aren't going his way, he will try and pull something out of the bag to draw, bring things around. I would be lying if I said that I didn't want to win or that I don't have high hopes. I have the highest of hopes. He's the best drifter in the world right now. I absolutely wouldn't change anything. We've had our struggles, don't get me wrong, but I think they make the good times so much better. So yeah, exciting times ahead. Let's see how it works out. They're all delighted over there, the changes is there right now. I'm more nervous now than I was with his first um, competition, to be honest. Yeah, you gotta stay hungry, hungry in everything you do, I think. Otherwise, you're retired.